man die Speed. Don't mess around. Don't mess around, boys. One left. One left. Jesus, where? Oh. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, you monkey. Oh. Guys, happy start of the week to you as all. I've just got a delivery and it was for Tom, so it took a while to come. So Tom turned 30 a few weeks back um, and it's a bit of a belated happy birthday to him, but it took a while to come. So we'll show you Tom's big birthday present, see if you can guess what it is when we get there. I won't tell you what it is, but I think he'll really like it. Um, I hope he does anyway. This is pretty cool. I have no idea how to work ratchet straps. There we go. Happy 30th birthday, Tom. Hope you like it. So, welcome to the Never Throw in the Towel podcast. The strongest men, the two strongest brothers on the planet. The Stallman Brothers! Hey, 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 Oh, wow. oh no! <laughs> that's, 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 that's gonna sting. Yeah, this is the biggest test for ice for cold water I've done. Absolutely, yeah. But um, you know, you've just got to face it because you know the benefits after. That's you're gonna, you're gonna rape them. So let's go. Now, um, there's butterflies flying all over here. I've never, I've never done it this. I've never done this cold before. That's why. Um, that's why I'm like, whoa. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, it's just a bit classy old film. Oh, we're oh, all good. We're all, good. Oh, oh, oh. We're all in it together. Oh, yes! What a phenomenal oh. time to be alive! <laughs> Is it harder this morning? No, not even quicker. Any? <laughs> <laughs> My penis is completely gone. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh. Yeah. oh. <laughs> I was waiting for it. Who's done a piss? I tell you what. I don't think I could. <laughs> if anyone needs a piss, please do it near me. Yeah. I'm absolutely freezing. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh yuck. Forget we haven't lost it for now. Oh, well, that'll be right. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he's going for it. Straight in that. <laughs> oh! Ah! Ah! He's gone! Oh! Whoa! Oh! 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 Wow! Oh, oh, I'm sure I thought that feels nettles. unbelievable. Sick nettles. That was a different level <laughs> doing that, that type of coldness. Today I am training pressing, so I'm going to do some push press, strip press, incline axle press, and then accessory work. I'm trying to change my push press technique a wee bit. I've been a lot of uh, lower back dominant, and I'm pushing out of line of my body, so, uh, so I'm pushing like kind of the last parts in front of me. So I'm trying to really kind of get my push my legs out and try and keep in a straighter line. Uh, looks really good at it, but it's just because. My lower back's getting pretty bugger of it all, so I'm really kind of using my lower back when I'm pressing, so I'm trying to get out of that. So a lot of technique work plus pressing today.
I'm um, going to go to a place in Inverness and get uh, an ultrasound on my biceps, see, see where things are going or how things are. Um, still a little bit sore, but hopefully some good news. Potentially PRP as well. So, like, so basically they take your blood out, they spin it in a centrifuge, and then think the blood splits up and they re-inject the kind of good blood. I'm not really, but basically they re-inject good blood into you, which helps promote recovery into the tendon. So I can feel it's not quite there yet. Lifting Cole in the car, taking the car seat at the car. It's just not there, so see how it goes. I'm still doing the recovery aspect, so um, I know it's better than it was, which is good, so just got to keep keep doing this stuff. We'll get this one. We're going to be doing stuff for sky scanning the Scottish rugby. So yeah, keep fun here. Is it this way? Hi, I'm Tom Stoltman, the world's strongest man. I can almost taste the Skyscanner America's tour. Take five, Tom. Yeah, please. Waste the time, so. Rugby players, I've got line-outs, and I've got this. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, That's hard, man. I need to compose myself. This will be harder than winning worlds. We're just up in Inverness, or I'm just up in Inverness, so on the weekend we are doing the Highland Games. They've got this massive tent, which is just incredible. It's like a circus high top tent. And it just got me little my little brain thinking, you know, about how cool it would be to have um it'd be an outdoor, indoor uh, strongman event. Obviously we've been talking about the the Stoltman classic, Stoltman games, whatever, for, for quite a long time and you know, having a venue like this up here in the Highlands would be incredible. I think it's maybe three, four thousand people can hold. So yeah, we're gonna probably have some chats about it, see see what happens, see how things go. So who knows? What do you think? 2025 Stolten Games? I don't know. Let's see. I don't know. I get quite excited with things like this because it's about my first competition was here in Inverness. My first strongman competition was in a car park here. We'll see what happens. There's obviously a lot of planning and a lot of chatting. Um and if any of you strong men watching this, if you want to come along to the Stoltman Games, get your get your entries in now. 2025, let's see what happens. Oh, <gasps> jabba 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 jabba! It's 
Friday, just going to go for some lunch and then go train. Dan's up, so he's going to come along with us. But um, as you can see in front of us, Sinead is in a new car, so she's uh, going to meet us at the storehouse. So, reckon speed the Amanda. I've had Dan up now since Wednesday, and I've hit a massive squat, so I've hit some of my biggest deadlift in like three, three to four years, or probably. Well, since the, the worst days of Dubai, so since then, and like us are all, so that's it's just that confidence booster. Um, because this time last week, I was had a sh crap session on the Thursday, crap session on Wednesday, we're going on Friday, not feeling good, but it's nice to feel as well. My body's broken in a good way, like it feels a bit. I've got some doms because I went really hard on like the accessories as well, and yeah, just uh, I, I've upped the intensity a lot as well. So today is going to be probably about four events get some food first, then go train, and then go do some. Hot and cold. Yeah, buddy. We, Tom, how's it going? And not one bit was spilled. But you can never do that. But I could. But you could do it. Oh, I can't be arsed. Do it then. Why would I do something that I've already done? You've never done it before, you always leave me. You've never carried anything. No. Oh, that's me. Here's, and two portions of shit? That's for the, Sorry. just in the middle. I've actually only got one just now. I've got the fruit as well. That's oh, all thank you. Jesus. It's vegetables, aren't some it's not you quite the vegetables. It's not quite the Stolten pizza, but it's a pizza. For, the, for YouTube, uh, what do you No, have? it's got mustard. What, what is it? Tom, I'm talking to Tom. Okay, what do you have? Please talk to the camera. I was just talking. Right, so what's, what's on your plate? I have a flatbread with pulled beef and it's got like mustard and crispy onions. I got one quarter of a tomato, cucumber, loads of leaf and coleslaw. Storehouse pizza. This is proper nutrition. Proper bulking food. <laughs> Not eat your food. Hey, up up. Can we get a grand tour of Sinead's car, Tom? It's a now. Right, see you later. I have to do 270, so yeah, it's a big boys use this. So. Oh, yeah. I think when people, people think that these are easy to lift as well, eh? So, like, they don't really yeah. respect them until you come in and actually see. It's actually how you actually grasp Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, what makes this fall on top? You know, like we said, with the, when we were at the Royal Abbott Hall, the amount of travel and everything going on, it's just been good to get up here generally, uh, to get the focus back in. We got over a few hurdles this week. Heaviest raw squat he's done in a long time. Heaviest raw deadlift he's done in a long time. Pressing's going well, you know. Come in first time doing heavy dumbbells for a long, long time. And uh, 
to be close to hitting 120, getting good reps with the 104 is it's a great sign. And that's the thing. If we can get this uh, mindset to keep building, he's going to be in a really good place. So that's my first kind of proper week back with dumbbell song. You know, I'm happy enough with, uh, I think it was 105 for a few sets. Getting into it, took me a wee while to get into it, but I found the explosiveness. And uh, next week, we'll increase the weight. Unfortunately, right now, I don't, I've only got a 105 and 120, so I'm going to try and get the loadable dumbbell maybe to 110, 115 and start getting a bit more weight. You know, doing a double at 115 would be perfect, this prep or something like that. So anyway, again, we just did a light uh, frame pickup and a light arm over arm just again to get back into that movement. I had to stop doing that for a wee while for all Albert Hall, so this is the first week we're back into it. It feels nice and comfy. Uh, obviously, the setup's not the best, but every single week we get heavier. Right guys, so that is training done. Another great session here in the warehouse. But you know what? We've got a wee special guest that is going to end this video for us. So welcome, Miles, and he's got a wee message for you guys. Thank you for watching and stay spicy. Yeah.